everybody, welcome to thecreativepunk.com. Today I am Chris Foster. This is Blaine Young. Blaine, Ooh. tell us uh, tell us what you do for the Creative Punk. I help oversee and manage the content and also the design of thecreativepunk.com. So if you love it, digital high five me later. That's right. Uh, hit him up on Twitter. Uh, I, I do want you, if you are a blogger, I want you to go check out blaineyoung.com. And uh, he built that site. He also built uh, the creativepunk.com as well. And so if you're looking to kind of freshen up your site, give it a different look, uh, he's the man. But he's on staff here at Family Life Church. Um, he's a temp blogger known all over the universe. Uh, so it's an incredible it's, deal. It's hard being famous, but it's, uh, it's rewarding That's financially. Right. It's, it's worth it. It's totally <laughs> worth it. Uh, and uh, over here to my left and your right is um, Brittany. Brittany is the chief editor of thecreativepunk.com. She is my administrative assistant. And uh, so anytime I, I begin to say something dumb, she makes it sound sweet. And so, uh, but today we just kind of want to give you a little bit of insight. We are standing right now um, inside of the creative room here at Family Life Church. And uh, I talked on a blog. I'm not sure if this is published just yet or if it's coming up. A lot of times, um, some of the blogs that I write um, we'll, we will wait until they're rejected by Michael Hyatt before we put them on our blog. <laughs> uh, and so sometimes I write for uh, a, you know, other, other groups and that kind of thing. And so, uh, but I'm not sure if this is published yet or not. But we talked about the wind chart. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea, a concept as to what we're talking about. Uh, it's very simple. Obviously, we're not talking about brain surgery. I and mean, we all have maps and stuff like that. But this is, this is the wind chart right here. Uh, I love how the wind chart sits beneath like a $1,200 television. Sometimes it's about simplicity when it comes to getting things done. Absolutely, absolutely. There's a lot of clutter on our laptops, and so this is a great way to bring us. Uh, this is, for example, right here, the Christmas finale services. Um, part of the reason for... A stuff secret. That's right. Part of the reason for um, uh, this is to identify the wind. What does it mean to put the ball through the hoop? And, um, and so often in life, in ministry, when we're working, we have a project we're going on, we don't even know what it means to win. We're just working, working, and did we win? Well, we don't really know if we won. So we want to predefine those, uh, those goals in advance. That way we know what to pray for, know what to ask God for, know what to motivate our people for. And in the end, we know if, if, we, uh, if we won or not. So th these are some of the, th those goals down here. Um, you can't read all of them from there, but they're just different uh, parts of the plan. We actually developed the word, uh, Blaine, the other day when we were talking about this because some of the things that are in, uh, in the goal part, uh, in, in the win part, are also plan-oriented. So we, what, what, do we, what do we call that? It's called uh, the plan. The plan. The plan. So sometimes. It's Latin in its root, but maybe transferred from central Mesopotamia. Check it out in the OED later. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so a after you get through transbobulating it, uh, it, it, what it, what it boils down to is two words, the, the, a plan and a win. And so some of the things that we do and that we write down are an absolute plan and they're an absolute win. Like it's a win if we do this and it's a part of the plan, so we call it the plan. And so down here we just kind of go through some of these things. If we don't hit our target, we don't hit our goal, uh, we go back and say, was there anything we didn't do? We look at This is something we're going to look at every week, go through here. Again, some of this stuff you can't see uh, uh, because it's secret, but just kind of going through it just a little bit, um, pushing uh, the services, our, our four Christmas finale services on Facebook. Personal invites for me, we're, we're doing this deal where um, Blaine people can, um, they, they can um, email in or they can write on a card on the weekend, and um, I'm going to pick up the phone and call their friend, their family member, and say, hey, I would personally love for you to attend one of our f Christmas finale services. And it's going to be a different touch coming from me. I would not normally do that, um, obviously, and it, it's a great way to reach out. So we're doing that. Um, Christmas gifts for kids from the project. We're busting in kids from the government subsidized housing districts on one of these services, and we're going to be blessing every one of them uh, with a great gift. Um, uh, it's going to be snowing. We're going to have snow inside the church and outside the church. Snowinginbrunswick.com. That's right. Go to snowinginbrunswick.com. You can see a little bit about of that weather forecast. It's going to be coming. What's so interesting about this particular snow is it's isolated to an address within the zip code 31520. So check it out, snowinginbrunswick.com. Uh, so well, we can't mention what's so That's right. Whoa, whoa. whoa. That was, that was um, spoken word piece. Um, worship shutdown. That's, again, something we can't um, really get into detail. It's a surprise element that's really going to be phenomenal. Live nativity. Uh, trailers for some of the series that we have coming up in the month of January and the month of February. 
uh, you know, you go to a movie, sometimes you, um, you see something, oh, hey, in the fall, this is coming out, and you get all excited about it. Well, of course, we're planned out um, many months in advance with something we've prayed over. We know our creative direction, and, uh, and so we put together some trailers to kind of give that Christmas crowd a shot. Hey, there's wicked sweet stuff happening, not just on Christmas. I heard a preacher the other day, Craig Rochelle, one of our heroes, of course, uh, he was addressing his Christmas crowd, and he said, I want to say Merry Christmas, and, and to many of you, I want to say Merry Easter. Happy Easter, because that's the next time I'll see you. <laughs> so, so we want to do some things to try to get, let them understand, hey, there's some, some great things coming down the pipe. This is what's happening next, so uh, that's that. Um, I want to give a shout-out quickly. We were watching a planning Christmas video from Mario Amarin. He's the CEO of the A Group. He serves also at Crosspoint um, in Nashville. One of the things he had mentioned is not only playing trailers at your Christmas series for the next week, because we do that year-round, but playing a trailer for something that's happening next year. And so not only will we be doing the usual, the trailer for the next series, but a special coming in early 2011 trailer. So I wanted to give some props to my man. Absolutely. And, and if you don't know, we pull from as many resources as we can. Um, anything that we do that's creative, we probably got from someone else and improved it. Hopefully right. we improved it. Sometimes God gives us the original stuff, and we use that. Uh, it's all about making Christ famous, and so it, it's not, you know, everything in my, in our opinion belongs to Him. So when we write something, we develop something, we give it away. That's, that's just the way we operate. And so, anyway, but yeah, uh, thank you so much to everybody who has had an input. Uh, prayer, of course. We're doing a big prayer push. Um, uh, a mailer, all of our hosts are wearing hats, going to have uh, T-shirts that are series-specific. And not only all of our hosts, but actually all of our nursery workers and Children's Ministry, everyone who's serving on Sunday morning. OurShirtsDon'tSuck.com. Check it out. Yeah, it's a great resource. Uh, so, um, there's, there's some other stuff in here, but we just kind of want to give you an idea about the wind chart. And uh, this goes through uh, several different things uh, throughout the year. This is our uh, 40 Days of Faith coming up, which is our fasting. Uh, we've, we've written down some, uh, some goals, what it means to put the ball through the net. And, uh, and how we're going to accomplish those things. Um, this is a life group series, that, or not a series, but a semester we have coming up starting in the month of January. Um, and uh, Dairy Queen Church. <laughs> Dairy Queen Church is um, it basically, um, it's the beginning, it's a grassroots element to our Brantley campus launch. And we're going to be going starting in January every Sunday night to Brantley County meeting with the leadership team there. We already had our first meeting. About 23 people showed up. So we're going to start meeting with them uh, on every Sunday night uh, basis with all the leadership core, with the campus pastor, the children's pastor. I will be there. We'll be going to pour into their life. And so we've set some goals, and we, we talked about some things that we want to accomplish and how it is that we're going to uh, do this Dairy Queen Church. The reason we're calling it Dairy Queen Church is right after we meet, uh, we're just going to go to the Dairy Queen and, and hang out and get to know people in, in, in the area. So um, Dairy Queen Church... The Brantley campus launch, it just kind of keeps going on and on. This is a great way just to have things out in front of you. So often in leadership, we have a hard time zooming out. And this is one of the things that uh, we just kind of dreamt up and said, hey, let's, let's start zooming out a bit. We'll, t we'll zoom out every week, every other week. We'll take a look at this, keep it in front of us. We'll know mainly uh, what it means to keep the main thing the main thing. I think so often um, in leadership, you know, we, we throw a dart at a wall and then when that dart hits, we go and we draw a circle around it and go, hey, I, I get the bullseye. Um, but we want to predetermine what that is. We want to ask God. We, we want to know what we have to pray about in advance. And so a lot of cool stuff with the wind chart. Maybe it morphs for you. Maybe it doesn't quite look like this. Uh, maybe you've got it on a 65-inch plasma. I don't know. But the bottom line is you've got to have something in front of you so you can know what to pray for, know what to shoot for, and point your leaders to it. And, uh, and, and it, when, when the ball doesn't get put to the hoop, you've got to go back and, and know why it didn't get put to the hoop. Make those adjustments next time. That way um, we can constantly be improving for the glory of God. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the wind chart. Thanks for joining us today. God bless you.